with diverse flora and fauna, magnificent natural landscapes, and an ecological biosphere that supports life. This wonderful planet is our earthly home. From our animal co-inhabitants to the lush rainforests and life-giving soil, we cherish all these as gifts from the Creator. It is a common theme in the world's major faiths that during our temporary stay here, we should be good stewards of Mother Earth. Throughout the years, Supreme Master Ching Hai has shared the message of leading a balanced life while following a spiritual path. Not only must we nourish our spirits, but we share the responsibility to care for nature and our fellow beings. In light of recent scientific evidences which pinpoint the raising of livestock as the number one contributor to climate change, Supreme Master Ching Hai affirms the important message she has noted for over the past few decades. We must be vegetarian, meaning an animal-free diet, and practice sustainable living. Today, we present to you part 14 of a 14-part series titled The Secrets of Venus, a discussion by Supreme Master Ching Hai with Supreme Master Television staff concerning the detrimental impacts of the meat diet on human health, the environment, and ultimately, the health of our planet, as well as other planets. If we would like some beneficial being to come visit us, then we have to be also beneficial to ourselves, our environment, and other neighboring planets. We know it. They will come, and they will invite us to their place to show us extraordinary technology that we could not even think of in a dream, that we would not even know that such things exist. I just tell you one thing like a belt only, you know, traveling belt. Yeah, you put it on, push a button and go anywhere in a flash. Yes, understand? It's master. Mm. Or even use a cloud to travel. Mm. That's just one of those things. Other things I don't have term. <laughs> in our world. Sometimes I see it. Well, we will see. Huh? Let's hope we have that day. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. Okay. Any more questions? That's all the questions, Master. Yeah. Thank you so much for spending time with us and putting all the effort that you have just to find the answers to our questions. Um, and we give special thanks also to the elders from Mars and the God of the... Galactic Historic Library for yes. helping to find those answers. Um, and we're also forever grateful for all the blessings that you give us because we couldn't we couldn't do this without you. Oh. And you know that yeah. the world is going to be saved with you helping us. Thanks. I do my best, honey. I do my best. And we wish you much serenity and safety and the best of health. Thank you so much. And we yes, uh, look you. forward to the time when we can see your beautiful smiling face and celebrate together an uh, entire peace on Earth. Uh, we love you very much, Master. And we hope that you are with us for many more years to come. I wish... You're always in our hearts. I wish so too, love. <laughs> Same here, huh? Same here. Uh, I know we have been working very hard. I'm very happy with our television. I'm very happy with the way you are working. Uh, all of you, I mean, not just at the headquarter, but, you know, the supporter staff all over the world for going through hours of research and hours of compiling and writing and polishing uh, the words and the style and with all your heart so that your sentence, your script and your work will touch the millions. And I'm happy to tell you that we have a lot of audience, a lot of fans.
And as the year rolls by, <laughs> we have more and more, and I hope the whole planet will be watching us because we cover the whole planet, you know, wherever satellite possible. Yes, Master. Yes, otherwise our services are available for the whole world. If they have Internet access or they have satellite service, the whole world can watch now, everywhere, <laughs> every corner of the world, because we cover them all. I make sure we cover them all, all the satellites that are necessary for each and every continent. It's just in some countries, it's not enough technological service. Understand? Yes. Yes, Master. And as the planet lifts itself up, as the population lifts their consciousness again up, there will be more and more miracles happen. There will be more Internet access to all the corners of the world that has not been before. Or there will be more satellite service in different countries and different corners of different countries. Then the more and more people will be informed and more and more will be uplifted. But nevertheless, their soul listen, because we are interconnected. And uh, the frequencies of radio or television are also uh, permeated in the atmosphere, this kind of positive energy and constructive news. It will reach the recess of their mind, and they will somehow get it also without even watching the Supreme Master television, but in some way more subtle. Then they will also awaken. We just need to be patient and praying a lot, praying a lot to all the gods and goddesses, all the divine beings, all the angels, to help us, yes, to manifest themselves physically onto this planet and help each and every citizen of the world to awaken to a compassionate lifestyle so that they can, you know, escape from this dilemma that is terrifying everybody at the moment, be it swine flu or planetary uh, climate change. Yes, so be it. Yes, ma'am. We have all the gods to thank, okay? Other gods and goddesses to thank. Good job. <laughs> Master, earlier in the show you mentioned a poem that you wrote. Yes. Would you like to share it with us now? Oh. Uh, I, uh, I don't have it here. Look. It was written in Vietnamese, and I'm afraid if I read it I will cry, and I don't think I can read it. But I hope to read it for you soon. Okay. It's just a call on an awakening planet, to call on different species on the planet to hang on in there, yes, to help each other, to love each other. And I call on all the species on the planet to help to awaken humankind, to forgive humankind for their mistakes and to protect them in these hours of need. First I ask them to take care of themselves first, as best as possible, and so that they can take care of humankind in this hour of need. The uh, different stanzas is for different species. I call on a mountain, sea, forest species to understand, to forgive us, and to protect humankind. I call on Mother Earth. I apologize. I express my love. I call on all the gods, heavens, to help us, to help to awaken humankind. I generally is like that. One day I will recite it. I hope I won't cry when I recite. This is just like one of the poems of the pig and the chicken. I cry all the time. So I don't dare touch it yet. Thank you, okay, thank you, Master. Yes, I wrote two recent poems. I don't remember <laughs> much of it. Because whenever I write a poem, if it's very touching feeling to you, then mostly it's spontaneous, you know? So I wrote down, but I won't remember much afterward, and not sentence after sentence. 
I would remember some, but not completely. I had to write quick before my inspiration uh, faded into the space. Just like I have to write quick all the answers for your question today in a note <laughs> stuff <laughs> like this. <laughs> yeah, in the dark of the night and the rest I remember. Look at how many notes you have here. <laughs> wow. All this, see that? <laughs> a lot, a lot. And much more. And the rest I remember also. These notes are only short, condensed sentences to remind me of the rest of it. It's not the whole thing. And it's a lot already. I eat a lot of these papers in the night. I have to write down many things in the night, especially when I have question and answer, yeah? I have to tune in with the universal consciousness, the universal intelligence, or the past history, uh, to be able to get out the answer, yes? Yes, Master. I don't get it from my pocket. <laughs> I get it from the truth revealed to me, yes? And if I can't get it myself, then I ask for help. I ask, who knows about this? <laughs> who knows about that? And then the answer will come to my mind, like, okay, the God of Venus or the God of Mars or the elderly of Mars, or I never heard... To be honest with you, the galaxy historical record library got this before in my whole life. Just because you ask question, I got to find this lady. <laughs> so as the per demand, it will be supplied. I never heard of this library before. I know about Akashic record library, but that was a common thing. Yeah, every uh, spiritual traveler knows that. But I never know of this. They record all the planetary survival and lives and the parish and new form and all that in that library. And no one is allowed to go in. That's just the thing. <laughs> it's only for the council of the galaxy to refer, to study, or just to keep. You understand me? Yes, Only master. them, they go in there so they can discuss, you know, the future and how to help or how to not help, how to intervene or not intervene. It's not for any mortal, not any even spiritual master to go in there to read anything in that library at all. So we are really lucky that the goddess in charge of this galaxy, our galaxy only, huh? <laughs> I don't dare venture too far. <laughs> I've been spending all my time writing under a flashlight. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have to know everything in the universe, okay? Yeah. Yes. yes all we have to know is how to live in the universe. We have to know love. We have to know mercy. We have to know compassion for others. Put others before us. Just think of what they want, just like if we were them. We have to consider others and love. And that is the best knowledge for everyone to live in any dimension in this beautiful, incredible, unfathomable universe. So if we can know some more things, it's fine. If not, we have to know love. That's all we need to know. Love will enable us to know many more things, whatever we need to know. I'm glad you asked this question also, you know, otherwise I would not know the existence of the uh, Galaxy Historical Record Library. And I would not be able to know this beautiful goddess. She is so beautiful. I don't know if it's she or he, but I think it's she. She is so, so soft, tender, you know, so scholarly. I mean, uh, very well versed in literature and very graceful, very beautiful. Hair is shining, shining like sunlight, you know. You see the hair, but then you don't see the hair. And the body is so tall and huge, but so loving, so tender and so, so sweet. <laughs> so loving. My God, you would like to stay there forever just to look at her. <laughs> So beautiful, 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 and so generous, so kind, so hospitable to me. 
I bid you loving farewell to the next encounter. Okay? It was a pleasure to have you with us today for Between Master and Disciples here on Supreme Master Television. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for Animal World, our co-inhabitants. Coming up next, right after Noteworthy News. May your spirit glow wondrously in harmony with the glorious music of heaven. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash BMD.